Hello Louisiana Beer Reviews. Today we're going to do a couple of mystery taste challenges. I have one beer and then we'll do another and I don't know what you have for today. Maybe nothing but that's okay. Now I'm going to give you two clues uh, either before I open it or after but if you, if you, whatever you want to do um, I'll go open it now if you like. Okay. You don't have to close your eyes because it's closing fine. my eyes. So let's see. Hand me All your right. glass. First question. Okay. Foreign, foreign or domestic? You know, it's always the first. Foreign. 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 Can I get it? Can I get it? Part B to the first question. Oh, I heard. Tss. I didn't get an answer on that. Yeah, it's foreign. Okay. So I know sometimes you stump me up with these foreign domestics, uh, like you pulling some crazy beer from from okay. from like uh, from like I don't know Trader Joe's or something like that. Wow. So here it is. I can pour more later. I just wanted to get it going. Is it a popular foreign beer? That's your second clue. Uh, it's very popular, actually. Mm. So that means people like it. Well, yeah, that would kind of go along with popular. It's thick, off-white head. Now, I guess it's a white head. Huh? The lighting in here is dim, but let's see. Yeah, it's just a white head, and it's gold. Sorry, I have old-school white kids. No LEDs here. Right. No, those are... LEDs, aren't they? That one? It's not, It's just not bright light. Okay, it's now this is... Light. What color is that? Straw or gold? It's kind of like a light straw color, I would say. Alright. It smells a little corn. If you look at it, it just looks like Bud Light. Hmm. But you're saying it's foreign. It is. And popular. Imported, yeah. It's not Corona. Do, do, do. All right, right. Any any noticeable aroma? Not too much. Not really. It does smell like something that tasted a long time ago. Not San Miguel. I don't know. I'm gonna have to taste it. All right, taste. Couldn't get it on our appearance, but just very difficult to do an aroma. Difficult. Some more. If you I promise not to look, I'll pour you some more. So it's coming out of a bottle. Here you go. That was a clue you didn't have to tell me because I heard that. You heard that? It's foreign and it's popular. And it's not Corona. Uh, you know what? When I was at the place, it's I not something. It's not something from when I, Europe when because I, it doesn't taste like a European beer. I could have bought the can today. They had it in cans and bottles, but I, I bought the bottle. <clears throat> and they had two size bottles, so they had it in cans, and they had it in bottles, and but. The bottle I bought was was a better price per ounce, actually. Anything on the on the flavor that you're picking up? This tastes like beer, but it's good. There's a corn sweetness, kind of. Hold on a second. Well, if you can't guess, I'll start putting out clues one after the other, and 
then I know you'll get it once I start. But first we got to get a score before I go any further. It's ordinary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely ordinary. I don't know, I just give it a C. So an average. Yeah, so, I mean, so. I mean uh, Nanny, got a little, uh, Nanny Light tastes better than this. Nanny Light, natural light. Yeah. It's got a little hop bitterness. Yeah, but like, it's, like it's a, a weird light. hop. Yeah. Bitterness. Okay, here's some of the clues. So you couldn't get it, but that it's a tough one. I mean, this is a tough one. So I, to be fair, this is not an easy. But one. you said it's popular. I wouldn't have seen it in three configurations at that one store for one popular. You know, mm. um, can it might have had two can sizes and two bottle sizes. Um, okay, here's the next clue. It's four point seven percent alcohol. That's like 80% of the beer out there. Next clue. It uh, does not use corn or rice as the filler. It uses cassava starch. What the hell is that? Or cassava. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that's what they make tapioca out of, if I'm not mistaken. Cassava. Well, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. But I know they use cassava uh, starch. Well, one of the viewers told me it's cassava. I said, okay. I don't even know what that is. Some kind of root, that. I think. The starch mm -hmm. comes out the root. It's one, uh, of these, one of these crazy island beers. Next clue. I think this came out onto the market in 1926. I'm not that sure. That was a lot. I don't know. But they, uh, I know one thing. The company that makes this was started by two British guys. And the first beer they made was called Dragon Stout. It was a stout. And then they decided to make a, a beer that was kind of dark and it wasn't popular. So they redid it as this. And when they did this, it got popular. And then people were like, hooray, beer! And they were drinking it, you know. Red Stripe. <laughs> it's got to be, because... Because he used to say, hooray, beer. Yeah, you said, yeah, well, you said British guys, and before that was some root something or other, and I was like, wait a minute, this has got to be like from one of those crazy islands, and then you said it's popular, and I'm like, popular. It's Red Stripe. I mean, don't, it took a lot of clues, kids, but, uh, yeah, I remember drinking this way back in the day when it was poppy, and I didn't really like it. <laughs> I was like, holy cow, why do people like this stuff? Got a little hot bitterness. To, it's Desno and Geddes. That's the two British guys. That Desno takes more though, since you know you can't recap it or, or save it in any kind of way. No, it's a pry cap. <clears throat> um, so if I get tapioca pudding, it's going to taste like this. Um, that is just so bizarre. But you know that that that's just a base. You know they make like a base out of it. Doesn't have any flavor. Red stripe. So Jamaican lager beer. This is a 24 ounce bottle. You can feel it's kind of a heavy bottle. Yeah, they do that, I guess, because of shipping purposes. Who knows? It was $3 and a penny after tax. But he told me, you can keep the penny. I said, okay. So it's, oh, because <laughs> I was trying to reach for the penny out of my pocket, and he said, just keep it. So how many ounces is that? 24 ounce bottle. Huh. You know, kids, you get a Colt 4540 for cheaper than that. Right. And you prefer. And better. And more alcohol. Since 1928, Red Stripe has embodied the spirit, rhythm, and pulse of Jamaica and its people. Desno and Geddes Limited, Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, so, what people? Desno and Geddes Limited. No, it just embodies the... The people of Jamaica. Spirit. Um, Do you think the people of Jamaica feel that this beer embodies their spirit? I don't know. They drink it. I think they drink the Dragon Stout more down there. I think in the island countries, the Stouts are more popular. Like Dragon Stout and... Um, can we get those here? Some stores sell it, but they're too expensive around here. You know, they like to try it. it. Can't be any more expensive than some of this crappy crap. I here saw it at Total Wine and more, and I didn't like the price. I didn't buy it. It was in like a 9.6 ounce bottle. I said 9.6 ounces, but um, 149 calories. It is good. Dragon Stout is good. It's like seven and a half percent alcohol. Have you tried it? Yeah, I tried it years ago. I liked it. I would drink it over this, but this is fine, I guess, if you want an island lager and it's kind of basic, like you say. I wouldn't score it. Don't hurt yourself. I was trying to get the cap back on. Oh, it really snapped back on there. Could reseal it. Okay. Um, 
Let's see, score time for me. I like the mild kind of hot bitterness this guy gets going with. Um, I don't think they try to make it a British type beer because they don't really drink these kind of things. Or back in the 20s, they didn't drink these kind of things in, in Great Britain. They mostly drank those ales, you know, those mild bitters. But, um, of course, now in England, they drank Foster's. That's like their top beer. And it's, it's a weak version that compared to what we get. Um, that's what I was going to guess what it was because... I like it. I mean, to me, but it's... Foster's comes in a can. Right. So when you pop, don't get the bottles you know, anymore. It's, uh, it's not Foster's. We used to get the bottles. Um... I'm going to go with a B plus. I think it's very good myself, but we don't always agree, so... I'm still going to go with, with a grade C because it's got some kind of strange flavor in it. It's off flavor? Really... Yeah. Well, what would you call it off flavor? Just off flavor? It doesn't taste off to me. It just tastes like regular, like you said, it tastes like regular old lager beer. Yeah, it's just, it's ordinary. It's, that's why they did those cute commercials. Remember the guy wearing the tuxedo, the Jamaican guy back in the 90s that would say, hooray, beer. Yeah. Because it really, what are they going to say on a commercial? It's just regular old beer, but it's from Jamaica. No one's going to be impressed by that. So they had right. to make it kind of cute and all. Uh, but anyway, there it is. That's it. Um, so, les les bon temps roulés, I guess. Uh, it was an interesting taste challenge, at least. I thought it was fun. We're going to end this review by saying... Yep, I enjoyed it. And one day maybe we'll do the review of the Dragon Stout. We're going to end this review by saying, Yo, come on down to Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. And C's aren't bad grades. No, it's average. <laughs>